Well, hello there, guys. Tony here with the Vegetti. Hey everybody, Tony here with you today and I got another As Seen on TV kitchen item. Today we're going to be testing out the Vegetti. Vegetti is a modern item for us people that are carb k carb conscious. I paid $4.99 for this at a discount store. You'll see an Amazon link for it down in the description if you want to check one of these babies out. I'm not going to talk too much about it because it's kind of self-evident what this thing is. What you do is, is you take a zucchini, you shove it in one end, and twist it around, and it supposedly turns it into spaghetti, right? The jetty, spaghetti, it all kind of rhymes and goes together. Or together. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to shove a zucchini in this hole right here, and we're going to twist it till we get spaghetti, because it promises that right there. So I'm going to unbox this thing, we're going to check out this vegetti, and we're going to have some low-carb spaghetti, and everybody's going to be happy. Right? Here we go. Are you still there? I realize this does have the perforated back on it, so awesome. Easy open. Most of these ass single TV items don't do that. It says that 800 calories of regular spaghetti becomes 60 calories of spaghetti when you make it with zucchini. Awesome. And that goes from 160 carbs down to 8 carbs. Wow. Right here it shows some of the different things you can make with this. Just real quick. Okay, let me get a zucchini and let's go crazy. And here's what this little magic kitchen gadget looks like. It's plastic and stainless steel. And real quick, I'm going to talk about this for just a second. One side of this makes really thin spaghetti, it says, and then one side of this makes thick spaghetti. So I kind of prefer thin spaghetti myself, so I'm going to try that first. So I'm going to take this off here, and this is supposed to hold the zucchini in place or whatever vegetable you happen to put in here. So I'm following directions. I'm going to shove this in here like that because we're going to use this just like it says here. Oops. And we're going thin side first, and we're going to make thin spaghetti first. Here we go. And that just broke off down here. This is kind of thin down here at the end, so I'm going to put this to the side for a second. And it appears to be working. Okay, I've only got one zucchini, so I just did about half of the zucchini right now. We'll check out these noodles real quick. These noodles look a little bit thick to me. They almost look like onion ring straws. And it did show these like fried up or baked or something on the packaging. So I'm thinking you might be able to air fry these or fry them. All right, so now I'm gonna stick in the other end and see what those look like. I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm gonna set these to the side so that we can compare them in contrast. I'm gonna take it out. Whoa, that's crazy look. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> well, we're going to go back in. All right. And we're going to twist on this side now. Okay. So this is the thin side. I can already see it's making thin noodles here. This thing right here is supposed to save you from like getting your hands in here and cutting yourself. So I'm going to try to use it now that I'm closer in. And honestly, it's just not working that good. And maybe the zucchini is too soft. I don't know. But I'm pretty safe out here, I think. I'm just going to keep my fingers and thumbs outside of this thing while I'm working. Okay. And that's about as far as I can go without sticking my fingers down inside this thing. And this is much thinner. So... You can see here that these noodles are much thinner. And I'd say these are probably about the size of standard spaghetti noodles. So not thin cut spaghetti, but just standard cut spaghetti noodles is what this looks like to me right here. So we've got some zucchini spaghetti made up here. I've never eaten zucchini spaghetti before, but this looks pretty good. So we've got uh, zucchini styled pasta. Hmm, very interesting. So I guess you could fry this up and right here's the thick ones again. So I guess you could fry this up, maybe even air fry it, and have a nice little snack or a nice little dinner. I was wondering what different things you could make with the vegetti. I looked through the recipe booklet and it's mostly pasta style recipes. It does have a section in here. I looked through the, okay, so I looked through the recipe book on the vegetti. And when I looked through the recipe book, most of the recipes are about pastas. 
when I looked through the recipes, it listed most most of the recipe. When I looked through the recipe book, when I looked through this recipe book, this recipe booklet that comes with a Vegetti, most of the recipes that are in here are like pasta related type items, but it does say something about making hash browns out of the Vegetti, which I guess is kind of the same thing if you're frying it. So I've got the noodles here out of the air fryer. Only thing I did to these was put a little bit of cooking spray on them and a little bit of salt. I'm not a big squash eater, but I'm gonna try these anyway just to see what they taste like. I'll let you know. Taking one for the team. Honestly, not bad. Tastes pretty good. Cooking and tasting wasn't really what this video was about anyway. It was all about testing out the Vegetti to see if it was any good at making spaghetti. And it does a really good job, in my opinion. Something I want to kind of retract on was when I first started making this, I said it was making the spaghetti kind of thick. Well, this is something that I realized that when you cook this stuff up, you know, I put it in an air fryer, it shrinks up a little bit, right? Because it loses some of its liquid. So if you're gonna be cooking it like in an air fryer or baking it or something like that, it would probably do the same thing if you fried it in oil. It would probably shrink up a little bit. A lot of people like fried zucchini, so I think a really good idea would be to make a bunch of noodles out of some zucchini and fry it up. I think that would be really tasty. You know, kind of eat it like onion straws or something like that. Sounds really good to me anyway. So we've evaluated this As Seen on TV Vegetti today. It does what it says it does, and it does a really good job of doing it, and it's very easy to use. The only thing I will give it points against is this little thing right here that you're supposed to grip the zucchini with. Didn't work so great for me. My zucchini was a little thin, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not. Probably did, I don't know. It kind of mushed into the zucchini instead of you know gripping it really good. So I really just had to do it with my hands. Just a suggestion, maybe use a fork on it or something like that, but you definitely don't want to stick your fingers in this because there is a blade inside there so you got to be careful with that anyway it comes like this and the Vegetti did a really good job made some good spaghetti out of zucchini and if you'd like to order one of these I'll have a link down in the description so you can go to Amazon and pick one of these babies up I'll also have a link in the comments to make it a little easier on you I hope you enjoyed this review today on the ass seen on TV Vegetti and if you're into healthy eating, or maybe you just like zucchini, or maybe you have other ideas of things that you might make with this Vegetti, I suggest that you get one of them because it does what it says it does. So as far as as seen on TV items, this one's a winner. And folks, if you'd like to see any of my other kitchen item reviews, just click on one of the boxes here. It'll take you to the playlist and let you see all of my kitchen reviews. And if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Salamat, and God bless you. Yeah.